Now to the war in Ukraine. The war-torn country will soon be getting additional military aid from the United States. It comes after President Joe Biden and President Volodymyr Zelensky held a lengthy phone call as the Ukrainian fighters are striking back. ABC's Ika Jachi is in Washington with more. This morning, another showing of support for war-torn Ukraine. The presidents of four European countries, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia, traveling to Kyiv to meet President Volodymyr Zelensky, underscoring their solidarity with Ukraine. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden speaking with Zelensky over the phone, unveiling a new $800 million aid package to Ukraine that's set to include long-range artillery systems, ammunition, armored personnel carriers, and additional drones and helicopters. We tailored this list specifically to meet the needs that they have asked for with respect to what's going on in eastern Ukraine. That's what's really driving this. The aid coming as Putin repositions his troops for that eastern assault. Satellite images showing his forces on the move. Armored vehicles and support equipment are ready to attack. In the eastern city of Kharkiv, military experts claim cluster bombs are being used to attack the city and terrorize civilians. Local officials say at least seven people died from the latest attack, including 20 who were wounded. The Russian Defense Ministry says they're seeing attempts of sabotage by Ukrainian forces in Russia. They're now threatening Ukraine's capital, saying if such activities continue, the Russian armed forces will conduct strikes on decision-making centers, including those in Kyiv. Russia claims over a thousand Ukrainian forces have surrendered in Mariupol. Ukrainian authorities haven't confirmed it. In Washington,